Today we play Ukotoa. 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 Ukotoa is a brand new game from Darrington Press. This is the first game made by the Critical Role team. Ukotoa is a very fun, easy, and fast-paced game. Let's start with setting it up. We start with the wheel token, and this is going to be the center of the board. And then we build the board by placing the tokens around it by pointing the arrows to each piece that follows. So the pieces point at each other going all the way around and this builds a spiral essentially. And some of the pieces have like rope and holes in them and it has zero significance. It's just to make it look like an actual ship. Once you finish building your board, you put the Yuktoa at the end. Look how cute. Then you're going to shuffle the deck and deal two cards to each person. So we're going to set this up for five. This game is for three to five players. Next, each player is going to pick a color and then you place your guys on the board. So the way this works is everyone takes a turn putting your guy on there, and obviously their strategy determined where they go. But you do this until everybody's on the board, going one by one. Sheeful. Once you've placed every sailor on the board, your board is now set up, and now you determine the factions or teams for the game. You and the person on your left are on one team, as well as you and the person to your right are on a different team. With these teams, you will share the colors between you. So, for example, in the board that we set up, we're going to be playing as the red player. So, based on the way um, we dealt the colors, I'm also on a team with purple and with blue, separately. In order to win the game, you win if there are only two colors of sailors remaining on the ship and both colors are controlled by the same player, or there is only a single color of sailor remaining on the ship. So this means if there is one red guy left, we win. If there's a red guy and purple guys left, we still win. And same if there's red and blue. But if there's any yellow or green characters left at the end, we do not win. The first thing that you can do on your turn is it's optional, but you can move Ukatoa. So obviously we are red in this game, so he would kill us and we don't want that. So we're not going to do that. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw two cards from the deck. Ukatoa can only move in the direction of the arrows. So basically the way you place them. So starting with the take them instead card, this involves swapping your character with someone that is in a space next to you. So for us, we want to get out of the way of Yukatoa, so we technically could swap with this blue guy here, but blue is also on our team. So at least to save us a little bit, we can play that by swapping for the yellow. So that's take them instead. So now they're in the direct line. The next type of card is advance Yukatoa. These cards have a number at the top that shows how many spaces they move forward, and the one that we have allows it to move forward once. So that would mean we would move forward, killing that yellow guy, and we take this piece of the ship out. The next card we have is Unleash a Tentacle, and this allows Ukatoa to knock a guy out in a straight line from it. So we're red in this scenario, so we obviously would want to have it take out this blue guy to save ourselves, but the Ukatoa does not move, it only knocks out a character. And this is also one of the cards that has a number at the top, so it could be as far as one space out, two, or three. And it does kill everybody in that straight line yeah. if it is. So you're not one. safe to hit the person three spaces away. Another one of your options for cards is to push. So this means you push another sailor into an adjacent space to move away from Ukatoa. So for example, we as the red character could push this guy over to take his spot. However, with the push card, you cannot push anyone off the boat. So there has to be a vacant space next to them. 
the last card option you have is to run, and this allows you to move three spaces to get away from Ukotoa, but you have to end on an empty space. So for example, we can take our red guy here and run one, two, to get out of his direct path. Also, with the push card, you can move only up to two spaces. So at the end of each turn, you discard down to five, and for each turn, you only play one card with one exception. So if in your hand, you have two of the same, so here we have two Unleash a Tentacle cards, you can play that double, take its action once, so you still only get one use of the card, and then that allows you to play a second card. And it does have to be the same number. So in that example, we would play two Unleash a Tentacle cards. So we would kill this purple sailor here, and then we'd be able to take another turn. So we could use our take them instead to swap this, oh, swap this green guy out for us so that we've not only taken out a sailor, but we're now out of Ukotoa's way. The last thing you can do with doubles is you can discard two of the same card to pick up a new one if you need a different kind of card in your hand. And if you take this action, then you can still play another card. It does not count as your turn to mm -hmm. discard two. So that's how the game goes, and when it ends, there is a single color of sailor remaining on the ship, or there are only two colors of sailors remaining on the ship, and both are controlled by the same player. So in this scenario, we are the only survivor. Since this game is so new, we've really only been able to play it a couple times, but we really enjoy it. And also, it's a bit of a bummer that this is a three-player, not a two-player, since it's just us, but it is very fun once we have a third person. <laughs> the artwork is great. The Sailor minis are kind of hilarious, mm -hmm. endlessly screaming. And the Ukatoa mini looks like you could put it into D&D &D right now. Yeah, it's pretty great. And the, one of the cool things, even though this is made by Critical Role, who are known for D Dungeons & Dragons, you don't have to play D&D &D to actually like this game. It has nothing to do with D&D. &D. Yeah, and like you said, this is a character from Critical Role or something, and I've never listened to it or gotten into that, so you definitely don't have to be into it to play the board game. And the great thing is, this game is actually really easy. Mm -hmm. Some of the terminology may be new, but we're probably going to replace this with our drunken sorry nights. Yeah, we could play high stakes Ukatoa. <laughs> Loser takes a shot of whatever is the worst. Peppermint schnapps. Peppermint schnapps. Mm -hmm. This is a game we could definitely see ourselves playing like three, four, five times in a row late at night. Once you learn it, it is really quick, like maybe 20 minutes to play a game. So that's really fun about it too. But I would say we both would recommend this game. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, let us know if there's any games you want us to review or talk about or do a walkthrough of. This is new for us and kind of fun, so <laughs> maybe we will do more of them. But if you enjoyed this video, do the, you know, the things.